Hello, party people. Here's another NRAIL update. Uh, post long week, a lot of stuff going on this week. Didn't really get a whole lot of hobby time in. I'm going to do this for a minute. There we go. But I did get some stuff done. Um, for those of you who are not following the blog, listed below, hopefully. Uh, I did do a couple of passes at this new station here. And I had, let's see if I can do the turn, 180. This guy in as the station. For those of you playing at home, you may remember. Really liked it. Great station. Great little thing. But it didn't work with the tram very well because it was so high. Um, I did get these little tiny stations here for the trams. And they're working really well. That guy there. And that guy there. But they're lower because the trams are lower. And so I tore apart my Soyokaze River uh, little shelf layout. And this came off of that. And it's nice. It's a nice little small town. It's like one of these little stations I would love to, to wait for a, a little tram or train. And so I, uh, I dropped that in and put some styrene around it for a little walking deck area and it's working much better with my trams it's looking you know it's not you know the the base of it is not coming up to the middle of the tram people have to leap on to the leap down into the tram so that was worked out nicely that was nice i'm not sure if i covered this last time but i have this little concession area now little vendor vending machine area which is nice I'm trying to go through, I did not prepare for this at all. Usually I do a little prep of what I'm going to do, but I did not do it this time. So bear with me. Um, oh, I got more of these guys in place, which is nice. It's looking bustling and you still need to kind of, you know, go in a little bit and, and kind of tune things up and, and the like, but I'm kind of liking how it's shaping up. It's looking very festive. Uh, I got these little balloon guys, which is fun, a little fun detail. Um, I covered the back section last time. Oh, I did not cover this. We're going to do a duck under. Everybody with me? Whoa! Okay. Uh, I did these little uh, building toppers for my harbor area. My wife, we went to a, a local place, uh, Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, and she, we were handing in little tickets for the kids, and they got their stuff, and then she's like, and I got these for you, and I was like, oh, that's cute, and then later on, I was like, oh, I get it, they're for my layout, <laughs> so that was nice of her, um, these little, this little whale and the and a little hammerhead shark, which is kind of fun, and so I just made them building toppers to go along with this whale, so... Again, Soyokaze Harbor is a whale-friendly harbor. That was one of the little lore bits that I created for it. And so I kind of like them up there. They're kind of fun. Um, I think they need a little weathering. They look a little too white right now. Um, I do like how I used, for the whale, I used kind of a this kind of tan color, which is nicer. So I'm going to go in and weather those up, make them look a little more use so that's nice um i got some bicycles that i put in along with the uh the guys over there and so that's kind of a nice little addition I have these little bicycle guys which is kind of fun and you can see from this side how things are looking in soyokaze uh i like them um I have these little like Little stalls again, little stories going on. There's a guy with his son waiting for the guy to, to walk up with the, the stuff there. And just little people shopping and having a good time. Again, something looks like a fun thing to, to do. And I'm hooked up on something there. There we go. Uh, I put in a little more farmer action. It's really hard to see, but there's some guys resting and hanging out talking and chatting in there 
and some more people back here as well. I'm not sure if I covered that, but I covered it again. And so the back area here, I'm I'm liking uh, overall. I think it's it's interesting. It's uh, engaging, and it's far enough away where I don't have to be too worried about it. There's some areas I need to address, like in here. That's definitely a dress area. Uh, the bridge here, as you can see, it just there's <laughs> like a five foot drop. You have to like leap up onto the bridge. So that needs to be addressed. Uh, I got some more people here, a little tour group of kids and the bus driver coming off the bus. That's kind of a fun little addition. So I'm finally getting to all my little people additions that I wanted, which is nice. I'm digging that. I have more people that I'm thinking about ordering. And now I'm going back and forth because I'm also starting a six scale science fiction hover bike that, uh, will be going. I've been working on or thinking about working on that for four years, if not longer, uh, probably longer, maybe five. And so um, I'm going to be splitting my time with N-scale stuff and six-scale science fiction hover bike girl stuff. So that should be interesting. Here's the uh, backside of that station. Liking how that's working much better. Whoa, got blown out there. So, um, yeah, things are progressing. Um, I'm still digging how things are going. And what's the other thing I was going to... Oh, back over here. Let's duck under again. Ready? Everybody with me. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> um, this area back here is coming along. Um, it's, you know, I got a little... A classic market kit from uh, I think it's Tomy Tech. Um, this is very nice. You can actually see. Let's see if I can get in there without knocking everything over. But you can see inside. It's kind of a nice little detail. And then I do have the building section I put in here, and the hospital little thing there. And so that's nice. I'm liking how that's working. Trucks going back and forth. The uh, little warehouse back there. And so on deck, let's think on deck. Let's see. Uh, getting this so it's not just a floating island. You can see back over here. Uh, you can see pink foam. Not a good thing. Um, this whole area, you can see a little bare deck here. I said no, no bare wood. So that's going to be addressed. I want to get more vegetation on that little mountain back there. Uh, a little more people and detail back in the back section here, as well as sidewalks in here. Um, I'm okay with, this is another Senke kit I just got, another little addition. And this is nice, has some nice little uh, inside section there. I hope you can see that, that it's in there. Senke kits are fantastic. I'm okay with, with this kind of transition here. Um, and, you know, I have some sidewalk going on there. I think the rest of these areas need sidewalks. So that's another thing that I have on deck. Again, more of this shenanigans going on in here, of course. That's going to be nice. I like that stuff. The farm, I think it's fine for now. This little back area I mentioned earlier. Uh, I have more people on deck here. Although, again, I'm, I have a hobby budget um, per month. And so what I'm doing is I'm juggling that hobby budget. And now with the six scale project, I'm like, ooh, I got to split up my hobby budget. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking that through. Um, so there might be some people that are on hold. Uh, this area needs to be addressed. Again, this large building here, uh, I'm not thrilled with the shadow it casts. So that might move back into this general area whoop this general area or here um playing that juggling game of i i want it to look balanced but i also don't want it to be where there's big buildings in the front you don't see anything in back but i also don't want it to be unnatural looking with all the buildings in the back and nothing in the front a juggling game a juggling game 
Um, but yeah, I don't like shadows on the on the wall. That's been my like even this area back here. You can see there's shadows in the wall. I don't like that, but I learned to live with it. Um, the other thing that is another budgetary thing is I have scoped out some backgrounds, some uh, backgrounds from. I'll see if I can remember the background company. I can't remember. Uh, it would be a background that would go from here all, oops, all the way over to here. I would probably leave this water, oceany kind of blue there. But it would be a mountain background, and I would love that so much. But it, I scoped it out, and to get a background that would cover that area, it's going to be like $200. And that's so much other little things that I could get. So that's an interesting one. Um, I did think about painting. That was the general idea when I first started, but then I realized that my minor painting chops that I did have are long gone. I have not painted anything in a long time. I could do, um, you know, I do, you know, digital manipulation of images and stuff for a limit living. I could do that myself and have them printed somewhere. So I'm going to look at that. Um, cause that would really allow me some, you know, more, you know, little challenges, but it would be kind of fun to do as well. And I could say I did it instead of just buying it, checkbook modeling. Um, so that would be good as well. So for now, I think that's all my update. I think that's all I have going on. Uh, again, I'm, I'm juggling between this and a six scale project, but you know, we'll see. So follow my blog if you're interested. I will have more up there, including more on what these guys are doing, even though my kaiju project is kind of broken. And um, yeah, thank you for viewing the video. I'm try again trying to keep it 10 to 13 minutes, and I think I've done that so far. So thank you all, and I will see you later.